Dear all, today I would like to welcome you on this localization webinar where we will be focusing on the major changes in our new release of the localization version 1.3. My name is Gabriela Valentova and I am the part of the feasibility and support team. The localization SDK is a tool that can recognize the position and orientation of the objects in the point cloud. It is a separate software, but it is also implemented in the BIMPIC Studio. The newly released BIMPIC Studio 1.4 already contains this new version of localization, and that is one of the reasons to look closer at the new improvements that were done here. This is the summary of the major changes, and on the next slides we will go through each of these changes and improvements. The first major change is function called clipping box. During the localization process, the whole scanned area is searched for the object. This can take quite a time, especially in the situation where the scanner sees more than just the object that you want to find. Therefore, we introduce a scene clipping box. Now you can easily define the volume where your objects are placed and the localization will focus only on that specific area. Using this feature, if you have two boxes with the same object, you can tell the localization to only look into one of them. Even if this is not your case, using this tool can significantly result into shorter localization time, which in the end means, fast, means faster cycle time for you. The next change is for those who like to test and evaluate different settings on the, of the localization on the set of PROs without being connected to the scanner. In order to save some of your time, you can now directly load the PRO in the localization configurator or our API without even having to open the Foxy control. This also applies for the feature drag and drop that was extended into the whole area of the window. In the new version, you can use our unique 3D motion cam with the localization SDK. Why is that important? The 3D motion cam has significantly shorter acquisition time compared with the Foxy scanner. The overall cycle time of the application would benefit from a shorter time of the acquisition by several seconds. Moreover, if you fight with the environment in which the ambient light conditions are changing rapidly or with objects which are vibrating, this might be the ultimate solution for you. The next change is in the number of supported CAD model land units. This can be a big advantage for those who previously had to spend time changing their land units from imperial to metric or within metric. We wanted to make the new localization more user-friendly for our worldwide customers and that's why the entries were added as a supported unit. We also thought about our customers that are using API. If you are one of them, you can look forward to four new C++ examples that will help you while creating your own application. These examples also may come as inspiration of what the localization is capable of doing. The next thing is error handling improvements. Every application encounters errors when certain prerequisites are not met. For example, when you start localization without input of the CAD file in API. Therefore, we focus on a more robust error handling, especially on problems related to file loading and communication with Foxy devices. You will get notified about experienced problems in a very clear and understandable way. There are many parameters that can be adjusted in order to enhance the performance of your localization. Learning about the parameters is not an easy task, therefore we made some improvements to help you as much as possible. If you are not certain about the individual setting function, you can click on the blue I button next to the setting to see long, longer description of the parameter. 
This is mainly for those of you who enjoy tuning the localization by yourself. Of course, for those of you that need some help with it, you can also rely on our support team that will gladly do it for you. That was all from the major changes in the localization 1.3. Thank you very much for your time and I hope you enjoyed this webinar. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us on support at photonio.com.